Material pricing is obviously a key indicator on how well a technology or material can be adopted. As an example, we did a quote out for a customer that's doing a fairly large part. We quoted it in DML titanium off of it was coming in at about 11 grand. That same part CNC'd, it was a difficult machining part. So it was coming in about eight grand in CNC. So it, it takes a lot of programming. And then in the cold metal fusion, without us double checking with everything and us bumping our price because we based it off a price per material plus some processing fees, we we're coming out to about $2,500. So we were dramatically under, and I'm not saying that is going to be the case for every part. This was one for a one-off piece because the design requirements for the cold metal fusion was so much lower. We had still marked up everything eight times potentially, and yet we were still coming out about a quarter of the cost of what everyone else was coming to us for. So even though the pricing per kilo initially might seem high or different than your typical feedstock, it is a additive included titanium powder, but it, it reduces the amount of processing and excess needs on the back end so much that it just reduces your operating expense. And that's one of the biggest aspects to manufacturing is your whole goal is throughput. You want to increase the amount of product you can do, keeping your operating expenses low and your inventory low. If we can do those two things with this process, it means our throughput will be through the roof. I think as we get more familiar with the material and the pricing on exactly where it fits in the industry, I, I can see us being below your average DMLS provider for their cheapest offering on that process. Fairly easy. And this is for our titanium offering.